You want to know the real secret? The real secret to a happy and fulfilled life? Let me give you a hint. It's not how much money you have. It's not what car you drive, what house you live in, or what watch you wear. It's not even how many friends you have or how many people love you. It's one thing. How mentally tough your mind is. Listen, man, no matter what you do in life, you're going to get haters. You're going to get people that don't understand what you're doing, whether you're following your dreams or just going through the paces, they're going to be there. Making themselves feel better about their failures and their fears by putting you down. But when it comes to your dreams, your ambitions, their opinion is none of your business. Dreaming is good. Having goals is good. But sooner or later, there comes a time when you must act. Dreams without action, that's the path to delusion. Without action, these dreams and goals will fill your life with negative emotions. Things like anxiousness, nervousness. They will fester inside you and drain your energy. I've met a lot of successful people. And again, my definition of success is how happy a person is with their life, right? Now, I've met a lot of them, and there is one thing that they all have in common that I've found, and that's all of them have trained their mind to deal with anything life throws at them. Right? All of them know how to interpret the world around them and the things that happen. You're actually training your mind to believe that you can't have the things that you want. So I'm here to tell you today that you can have anything you want, be anyone you want, but you're gonna have to work. Hard work is the universe's great equalizer. If you keep taking action, in spite of all this stuff that might happen, guess what? Sooner or later, you're gonna start winning. Stop looking for the easy way. Stop looking for the shortcut, because let me tell you, there ain't one. Hard work is the thing that has leveled the playing field and given the average Joe a shot at a crown. Train your mind. Train your mind not to focus on the problem and make it bigger, but focus on the solution to solve it. This will make the problem smaller and easier to deal with in your mind, and then it will be solved quicker. You have to work on this daily. Work on how you interpret problems and the things that happen around you. Stay positive, stay focused, and most importantly, stay strong. Life is always going to throw shit in your way. Things that will test you, things that will make or break you. And you've got two options. You can just stand there and take it, or you can smash through the thing and move on with your life. You have where you are right now and where you want to be. And there's only one road or one path that takes you there, and that's hard work. You have everything you need to have everything you want, but you must get to work. You can either be a victim of your life or the master of it. The choice is yours. You see, we all have it happen in our lives, but it's what we tell ourselves about what happens that determines how we feel about that situation. Now, this isn't just something that happens or, or even a test that you can pass and then you can do this all your life. This is a daily, constant effort to look at solutions, not problems. See, most people only ever focus on problems. All right? It's the world we live in today. We live in a world of media-fueled problems, right? You can't turn on the news without seeing problems, disasters, all the bad in this world. Now, most people focus on their problems and make them bigger than what they actually are. Right? This is where people are going wrong. If something bad happens and you make that problem even bigger and tell yourselves things like, this is always happening to me. This is never going to get better. This is a big problem. These are called generalizations. And when you use them, you are making the problem bigger and giving it fire. 
See, most of us as kids are brought up with this universal belief that failure is bad, right? That losing is bad and that failure or losing means embarrassment. It means humiliation. It means we're not good enough. It means that we should not ever even try something unless we are absolutely 100% sure that we can win. So what happens is we go through life and this happens over and over again, right? We don't tell that girl we fancy them in case she doesn't feel the same. We don't go for that job in case we don't get it. We don't make that phone call to say sorry in case our apology isn't accepted. We don't, we don't, we don't. We go through life and we we just don't. We don't do anything. You know, we don't try anything new. We just don't. So to make yourself take action, You've got to make a decision, and that decision has to be final. People take action and get done when they have had enough. They decide, and they say, that's it, I'm done, no more. No more will I be treated like this. No more will I be overweight. No more will I be in a job that I hate. Just decide, man. Making action a must will piss all over the fear you have, I promise you that there is happiness to be found all around us even in the darkest corner and I know some of you are there in the darkness and you're going through shit but trust me when I say there is always hope it all comes down to perspective seriously when it gets bad and on top of you and you feel like you can't go on remember one thing you are alive and nothing out there no problem big or small is worse than being dead Nothing. Don't you ever, ever think about throwing this thing we call life down the toilet because you don't think dealing with this is easier than dying because you're wrong. What makes you happy? Happiness is the key. I believe that success is measured by a person's happiness, not their achievements or their bank account. Not by how much money they have, how much money they make, what car they drive, what watch they wear, but how happy the person is and how happy they make others around them. I truly do. The reason most people don't take action is simple. It's fear. Fear of failure, fear of success. And the only way to overcome this and to stop making bullshit excuses why you shouldn't act is to make not taking action more painful than taking action. People sit around and they focus on all the bad shit that might happen to them if they try to act that they completely forget about what will happen if they don't. So think about it right now. At the moment, your brain thinks like this. Trying this new thing will be hard, it will be risky, etc, etc. Basically, associating taking action with pain. So, what you need to do is to train your mind and focus on the pain you'll get if you don't act. And to reinforce that, focus on all the pleasure that you will get if you act. So it'll sound something like this. It'll be a good challenge. You'll learn something new. You'll meet new people, see new places. If you do that and you take massive action every time, your life will never be the same again, I promise. What will happen if you don't act? You will keep getting the same results you get now. You will keep making the same money. You will keep doing the things you don't want to be doing. And worst of all, you will Get to the end of your life and regret that you didn't try. Remember this, you're either moving forward or standing still. The choice is yours. Decide. 17% of your entire time on this earth is spent at work, yet most people are okay spending this time doing something they don't enjoy, something they're not passionate about, and with people they don't even like. That's crazy, right? It all comes down to happiness. And in this pursuit of happiness that we're all on, there are some things you gotta do. You gotta do something every single day that you enjoy, that you're passionate about.
Nowadays, we are so lucky, man. You can be like me and have no qualifications, no money, no wealthy upbringing, and still crush it because of hard work. Stop looking for an easy way to the top. The top is there, it is. I'm not saying the top isn't there or it's an impossible mission that only the special among us can reach. It's right in front of you. Most people, they're all at this mountain called success and they're all looking for an elevator to carry them to the top. See, they haven't realized yet that there is no elevator. And I'm already halfway up the stairs.